Well, hello everybody, it's Sharon here. How are you today? Jump, in, jump on in and um, join in the comments and let's see where you're tuning in from. I'm from Australia, if you haven't noticed, and if you're new to Essential Stencils, uh, I am one of the ambassadors here and um, showing you another DIY project on stenciling today. And we're gonna be stenciling some fabric. So just um, checking my laptop here to make sure I can read comments and see who's here. There we go. Hi, Pam from um, Iowa. Angel, Janet, hi, Renee. So I'm starting to see comments, but I can only see them on my laptop and not up here. Let me see if this just goes away. There we go. All right, oh, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, sprinkle the love. And um, if you can, you can share this with another page or a group that you're a part of that allows you to share DIY projects like this or tag a friend that you might know who would be interested. You can also hit that little share button and send it through Messenger to a friend who you know might like DIY projects. So there's all kinds of fun ways that you can do that. I'm gonna share this to my group. I'm from the page and the blog, I Restore Stuff. So what I do is I upcycle furniture and home decor and just gonna type in my group name for I Restore Stuff is I Restore Stuff You Can Too, where we love to post inspirational pieces that we're working on, ask questions about painting furniture and that kind of thing. So, alrighty. Oh, there's people from all over the USA. Um, do I see anyone from Australia yet? Uh, I love to say hi to my Aussie friends who are watching. So yeah, follow me on my page, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Pinterest, all of the places you'll find me at I Restore Stuff. So today we're going to be working on Last week I did some kitchen signs. I think you will remember that. Well, I'm back in the kitchen again today. Today I'm gonna to be stenciling on some tea towels. Now these I got in a four pack from Ikea. So does anyone have an Ikea near them? You can use any, absolutely. But they're these um, four Ellie tea towels from Ikea. So we're doing a little Ikea tea towel hack today. And, oh, Heather, yes, hi, Heather's from the Gold Coast. Big shout out to Heather, who also follows my page, I Restore Stuff. Um, that's the Gold Coast Australia, not in Florida, because I think there's a Gold Coast in Florida also. So this is just a set of four tea towels that I picked up from Ikea, and they have all sorts of different designs. They've got like a stripe, a thin stripe. They've got sort of more of a, um, one with a bit of a space in the center that you could stencil on. Then there's this checkered looking one. And there's another one, this stripe here that I'm almost about to stencil on too. Now they're just cotton tea towels. So you can use any cotton tea towels. And when I'm stenciling on fabric, I just use an ordinary furniture paint, chalk paint or a mineral paint. So you can use anything like that. Hi Libby, Libby's just joined. And Melissa, hey Melissa. Um, so if you've been catching our ambassador lives this week, you would have seen a, a couple of the others already. And guys, I had to let you know too, if you're watching the replay, we are giving out an extra prize for a replay winner today. So if you comment replay in the comments, while this is a replay within the next 24 hours, Essential Stencil will choose a winner from those people as well. Just thought I'd mentioned that at the start. and. Don't worry, at the end, we're gonna be picking still our three usual winners from, uh, for an Essential Stencil prize. So there's that. Um, unfortunately, they are still unable to ship outside uh, internationally at the moment. So um, Aussies will have to just hang tight, wait. Hopefully this whole COVID situation will go away very soon and we'll be able to be back to normal shipping and things won't get lost and delayed and all of the things. So until then, we're bringing you lives right here on the page. And today I'm gonna to be working with, I said I was back in the kitchen doing tea towels. Um, and I'm also going to be stenciling a couple of these, our, you know, our wooden tags. So any of the products I'm using during the stencil stenciling today, you'll see them in the description of the live. So that's the wooden tag set. And you know, all of our little mini tags fit on those perfectly. So there's fishing ones, hunting ones,
camping ones, there's a whole lemons, there's a whole bunch of these mini tag sets, which reminds me, the summer sale is on now. And so if you received your email about that this week, it's also posted about on the Essential Stencil page, they are having a 25% off their summer range now. So guys, now's the time to order all those those stencils that you've been waiting for and drooling over in that summer collection. There are so many really good ones and it includes some of these ones that I'll be using today. And don't forget to use our ambassador code. So my code is I restore stuff. If you click any of the links here and you um, are purchasing anything from that summer sale, it will be 25% off those items plus the 10% off using my coupon code I restore stuff. So there you go. That's happening this week. Um, and you'll find out more details about that on the Essential Stencil page. So one of the stencils I'll be using today, whoops, and I've got the wrong, there it is. <laughs> Sorry guys, the camera's all back to front so you can see the words. We've got kitchen. <clears throat> Let me just show you what the stencils are. There's this one, gorgeous farmhousey kind of stencil. So I wanna put that on a tea towel today. There's also, pantry so this is a set of three and the set is called kitchen three pack okay so it's there in the description of my live and bon appetit so I thought especially this one and the kitchen one but would be great on tea towels to hang in your kitchen maybe not the pantry but wouldn't that be awesome for a pantry door sign or what about just painting it straight on your pantry you could do that so that's the first thing I'll be doing today. Another one that I think would look great on a tea towel is this one that says, oops, our little, um, the little instructions is on the inside there, but it says happiness is homemade. That would also fit really nicely across on a tea towel. And that is from the set called This Is Us because there's also This Is Us, Our Life, Our Story, Our Home. So that's another one of the sets that would actually look really great on tea towels for your home. I'll just pop that down there for now <clears throat> and bring you down here where I'll be working. Let me know if you have any questions about painting on fabrics today. Oops, there we go. Let's see if we can make that so that you can see it. All right, I'm just using a chalk paint today, as I said, and I'm using an Aussie brand, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. It's called Artisan paint and it's just a natural chalk finish so it is a chalk paint and I've chosen a really lovely navy blue color so no you can't get this in the USA just here in Australia and I've just poured a tiny little bit on this lid and guys we've got the essential stencil brushes the brush set comes in a set of four stencil brushes now they've been, they were out of stock for a long time, so make sure you grab those while there's some in stock. They come in four different sizes. Um, <clears throat> here's my tea towel. Yeah, Melissa said these make great gifts. Absolutely, great idea for gifts. And if you are a sign maker or gift maker, now is really the time that you need to start making for your Christmas stock, you know, if you've got a a shop booth or things like that where you sell things. So this is the halfway mark on the tea towel. So I'm sort of just estimating around about halfway, imagining that it's gonna be hanging over a bar like that. Um, Ikea often comes with these really long tags that you can just cut off if you wanted to, or they've got a, a cut line there. But for right now, and I could have, what I could have done is ironed this to give it a nice flat surface. Right now it's a little bit lumpy, but we'll just go with it. Good on you, Sharon. All right, and I could tape that if you wanted to. Let's just do that just for demonstration's sake. Tape that down so it's not gonna move around everywhere as I'm doing it. Yeah, Marlene says, Christmas will be here before we know it. Isn't that right? It happens every year and with a crazy 2020 that we've had, um, you just know. It's going to go uh, quickly this last part of the year. So I'm going to just use the three quarter inch brush on the essential stencil brushes. I'm going to dip that into my paint right here. And hopefully you can see that. Swirl it around a little bit and offload because offloading is one of the most important things that we'll do here when we're in stenciling mode. I'm just going to help hold this down so that 
this goes flat and I'm just going to do a little bit of a smooshing mode now. Sometimes depending on how your cotton piece was treated it could really soak up that paint. You can see it's going to be a lovely navy blue colour. I didn't quite check that it would actually match the blue of the fabric. I just went with it. So you might want to choose black or another colour that would really stand out. I'm just going to go as we go along just giving it a little swirl until I start to see that there's no paint coming off the brush anymore and that's when I'll go back and dip in. So there's even paint that's around the edges here that could still be pushed into those little little bits. Um, but you'll see as I'm swirling I can swirl because I've hardly got any paint on the brush. I'm still going actually. I thought we were finished but there's still some paint around those edges that I'm going to grab a hold of and put them in. Um, Sherry asked did I wash the tea towels beforehand? No. I uh, probably could have done that too because that may affect the, I don't know, shrinkage or something, the, the, um, the fabric. <clears throat> Kim says tea towels for pillows works great. I can imagine um, stenciling on some pillowcases the same. Probably wouldn't put pillow, a kitchen sign on pillowcases but some of the other, have a look at some of the other stencils in the summer stencil range while they have that 25% off sale going and if you've just joined you can also add my code irestorestuff for a further 10% off your order. So that's a good deal. Offloading will help for this to not bleed underneath the stencil. So we don't want it to be bleeding underneath those. Um, we don't want the paint to all get under there. So we offload as much as we can and I'm kind of hitting and swirling, hitting and swirling. So it's a little bit of a... I like this kitchen sign. It's got that 3D style lettering which is really fun to fun visually it just gives it a really lovely authentic old style sign you know. <clears throat> Thank you Dahlia. She said if the red live box is in the top left corner you are watching this live and if you are watching the replay then if you comment replay Essential Stencil will choose one winner from the replay in the next 24 hours. But for those of you watching it live Stay to the end because we'll be giving away some prizes at the end to three lucky winners. <laughs> Who's that? Marsha says, why did you have to tell me that? I love a sale. I oh, know. But here is the deal. If you know someone who's crafty and loves stenciling, why not get in early and get some Christmas gift ideas happening while they're on sale? So there's a lot of um, if you just go to EssentialStencil.com, it's right there on the, the home page. It'll tell you about their 25% off sale. And then you add my ambassador 10% off discount code. And that code is iRestoreStuff, so you'll see that in the description of the live at the top of this live. Um, yeah, great, great start to your gift giving, whether you are using the stencils as actual gifts to give to people or if you're using them to create gifts to give to people. So these tea towels, as Melissa said earlier, they make a great gift idea. Got a birthday for a mum coming up or what about teacher's gifts uh, around Christmas time? Uh, someone asked, can you use any type of tea towels or does cotton work best? I'd say you could use, I would try any type. Cotton I know is very absorbent so it'll absorb that colour of the paint and then um, I know that someone's going to be asking how do we seal that in and the idea is to iron or heat seal it in. That's what I've done to all of my painted fabric pieces is just heat seal it in with an iron, a hot iron. It has to be a dry iron so turn your steam off the iron and you could either print uh, iron on the reverse side of the the stenciled, you know, reverse side of the painted part, or lay down a, a scrap piece of fabric on top. In the old in the old days, I say, in the old days we would have used like a handkerchief or something like that. Does anyone still use handkerchiefs? Hankies, we call them here. Um, 
Yeah, so you can lay that on top, something that wouldn't matter if it did get paint on it, but you wait till this is dry completely. And I've never seen any transference of paint when I've you know, done it upside down onto my ironing board or anything like that. But if you're concerned, even a bit of um, parchment paper or whatever, you can iron it on like that. <clears throat> Kathy says, I need the pantry stencil. Yeah, it is so cute, isn't it? I can imagine just stenciling that straight onto the front of a pantry door. Or imagine those doors that have the glass in the top, stenciling it on glass would be amazing. It would look great. I've done a few projects stenciling on glass and it works well too. I'm going to have to pour a little bit more paint in a second. Um, looks, Karen says, what did she say? Let me just find that. Looks easier than when I did t-shirt fabric. Yes, Karen, I know what you're talking about. So when you're stenciling on t-shirt fabric, it really wants to stretch. And so you have all those little, um, yeah, it just kind of feels like the material, the fabric's trying to stretch underneath it. I have stenciled on t-shirts before, so I know, I know what you're saying. And so that's where this little um, like stab and swirl motion that I'm doing here works quite well. I can see little areas where, that are patchy where haven't, that haven't quite covered as well. But I love it for that rustic kind of a look, you know, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more paint on there. This is just a Australian made chalk finish called Artisan Paint. And I use it for painting furniture, but right now we're painting fabric and it just soaks on right on into the, to the fabric, the cotton tea towels that I'm using. These are just four, a set of four I got at Ikea. Yeah, um, Trudy says, I don't know that I would hang my towels that wide to see the stencil. I would like to see it hanging or see your vision. Yeah, so what I'm imagining is it's hanging on an oven rack and so the bar of the oven would be here and it just hangs over the top. And I know a lot of people kind of do the fold in thirds and then hang it over so you're only seeing visually this much. But that's the, that's the thought I had is this, you could have a single tea towel hanging like this on somewhere in your kitchen. Kitchen open 24 hours. Who else feels like that sometimes when you've got teenagers, doesn't it? Ours are mostly young adults now. Two have even flown the nest They're living in another city. So but sometimes it feels like, especially when they're little, you're just constantly, mom, what can I have to eat? Anyone else relate? Okay, Essential Stencils put that links there for you um, on some of these stencils that I'm using in the pinned comment at the top of this post. So you can jump on there, grab your stencils and come back and enjoy the live if you want. All right, I think I'm finished. I've got, I know that there are some places that haven't covered, you know, totally, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I think we're going to go with it. Now, great tip that I learned is to just have a wet damp cloth on hand and just wrap your sten um, stencil brush in that so that it doesn't dr all dry out. I'm just going to reveal our little stencil here and that navy blue doesn't look too bad. So what I'm imagining is just that this would hang um, just on a kitchen bar like that, like say on your oven that bar that comes across the oven. I know ours is that wide, so that's one idea for stenciling on tea towels. And that turned out really well. I'm trying to get it straight here. Uh, there's no bleeding underneath because we offloaded the brush really well on the paper. So that's how you get that technique of not going, you know, not getting it all underneath there. So just gonna really quickly rub off whoops as much as I can while it's still fresh because if we don't rub off the stencil now now in a second I'm going to be showing you how to stencil on these wooden tag sets and these are also back in stock on the essential stencil site in fact what I might do here is just lay this cloth onto here Oop, wet cloth 
and that will sit there and start soaking off. Meanwhile, while I've got them here, now I was going to do another one of these. The Bon Appetit was another favourite that I think would be great on a tea towel <coughs> for a gift. Might do that as well while I'm here. Put that one aside. Oops. I'll just show you one more time this stenciling on a tea towel. So this one is another one with a really long tag from Ikea. Um, and I'll do it your way this time. So this is the bottom. So we put the tag at the top. Hopefully that's all dry. It is. <coughs> you could actually, you know, make it go diagonal however you like. I'm just going to post, pop it this way. Yep, getting our gifts done early. Someone just mentioned talking about getting your gifts done. They could be for Christmas. They could be for year-round gifts. Birthdays come up suddenly and you think, what am I going to get that person? Well, hey, if you have some ready-made stenciled tea towels already in the cupboard, um, I'm just going to whoops, wing it right now without the... See, see how I'm punching, I'm pushing and then swirling. So there we go. hope that makes sense. Hi, Kathy. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the hearts, guys. Some people just joining us. If you've just joined, I'm Sharon from I Restore Stuff, the blog where I upcycle furniture and home decor. And right now we're stenciling on tea towels, so fabric stenciling. And using the essential stencil brushes that are now back in stock. So grab yours there at the essential shop. And I was mentioning before too that Essential has a summer sale on a lot of their stencils right now. Um, so 25% of that plus if you use my coupon code you'll get another 10% so that's I restore stuff is the coupon code and you'll get 10% off or if you use any of the links that are actually in the description of the live here that'll automatically add my coupon code on to your checkout so guys use your codes use your ambassador codes to get your percents off Bon see how quick this is once you once you get rolling, oh, someone said they're going to do 100 of these for, for Christmas gifts. They're getting ready already. But see, there's a lot of you I know that um, who here has a, a booth or a shop where you actually sell signs. A lot of people from our Stencil of the Month Club are real serious sign makers, guys. And so here's just another gift idea that you can add to your shop for that the Christmas season coming up. And so start making now for those Christmas gifts. And these aren't Christmas themed at all, but who knows that when you're looking for gifts, you're not necessarily looking for Christmas themed decor. You're looking for actual, you know, something someone could use in their house all year long. So if you wanted to join the Stencil of the Month Club, you can also use my code, I Restore Stuff, for the Stencil of the Month Club. And if you're new to Essential Stencil, the Stencil of the Month Club is a fantastic way of you get a set of stencils, not just one, but a set, a complete set of like three uh, stencils every month. And they're all themed to work together, coordinate with each other. And a lot of essential stencils actually coordinate with a whole bunch of other stencils too. So um, yeah, it's a, a great club to be a part of. And the latest stencils in the club, Amanda designed them, one of our other ambassadors. And she's done a beautiful job. It's um, trees, leaves, branches, roots, though, and, and birds, wings. Those are the themes that Amanda's got going on her design. If you have a look even back here on the Essential Stencil page, you'll see that was announced. And um, I love it. Oh, I realised I'm kind of not showing you the project here. Sorry about that, guys. So many things to take a note of. And don't go anywhere because Essential Stencil will be giving away prizes to three lucky winners at the end of our live here today. Um, yes, I have a website. It's irestorestuff.com. So you can follow me there or on any of the social medias at irestorestuff. That's my handle everywhere. YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram and Facebook. And my website is irestorestuff.com. There we go. And that's finished. Now, remember I was saying before, just iron it. Iron it with a hot, dry iron on the back of it. And there is our Bon Appetit. I'll put that face down on that wet cloth to make sure that gets... 
Open door. There we go. So there you go. There's another idea for a tea towel. Now, if you were doing that folding, you know, folding in thirds kind of a look, it probably wouldn't show the whole stencil, but um, that's okay. It would work well for just hanging it in the kitchen <coughs> and it just, just makes a lovely gift. Rightio, so I've made those two tea towels. Now I wanted to get onto some, some of these wooden tags that I've already painted already, prepared and painted those. Uh, there's a navy blue one and two white ones. And these are just simply from the Essential Stencil wooden tag stencil set. So I just wanted to show you a couple of their farmhousey ones today. Here's another gift idea for decor, for tags. You can even attach these tags to gifts. And then there's a, like a re, a double gift really because you're using them as gift tags but also just using them as, um, as a gift themselves. They can be hung in the home, farmhouse decor for example. I've got the little Farm Sweet Farm stencil set. That's the most of the tag sets come in a three pack. So let's just pop those out and show you those. And they're made to fit exactly on these wooden tags. So we have the farm on a tag. We have Farm Sweet Farm. And then the other one is, hey y'all, isn't that cute? So I wanna do one of these today. Let's do a farm sweet farm. And then I just love these come in a three set as well. And this is called the farm fresh mini tags. So write that down if you're looking for these later on. Farm fresh mini tags. <coughs> you can see they've got farm fresh milk, farm fresh eggs and farm fresh bacon. So those are a couple of fun ones that you could use too on your wooden tag sets. So I like the idea of farm fresh milk there and they are created to use together but I'm just going to switch them up a little bit today and I think I'll use this little farm with the chicken background there for this one. So once again super easy to create and really easy for gifts. I'm just going to use this navy blue paint again because I've got it here and then I'll use a white paint on this one for the cow. You could change up your colors too. You could create a little red barn with the barn and create um, you know, all sorts of different colors on there. And sometimes I like to use either the, the plastic from this or just a card. And then that way you can be doing this and covering up where you want to change the color up on your piece of wood. Let's just do this one here. So offloading the brush as a little bit, as much as we can holding it down really firmly because you could put tape on here but the and the stencils are really tiny on this one so I'm just going to do a little bit of a call that stippling yeah someone said they love the stencil the tag minis because they're really versatile they really are so just doing a little swirling now but see I just pounce and then stipple. Just trying to get that into the little, we call them arrows. Looks like a weather vane or something, doesn't it? With a little rooster in the middle and the letters spelling out farm around it. Okay, let's see how we went with that one. A little bit worried I went over the edge there, but I think it's okay. There's one, there we go, farm. Hang that with a bit of, bit of twine. Now they all do actually come with the twine in them. I've put mine aside somewhere and I'm not sure where I placed it. Just see the, the twine in there? You could change that out for ribbon if you wanted to. Um, coordinate your ribbon with your gift or with whatever, wherever you wanna hang it with the decor. Now next one, and I'm just gonna test this out first and not even put any more paint on the brush to see how much paint is actually already on there. So this one, we've got a windmill. The word farm. We've got a barn. That would be a cute red barn, wouldn't it? Even once I've got this dark blue on here, I can go over that barn later and the dark blue actually gives it a little bit of depth behind the red. 
because sometimes that red pigment in paints, that's the tip for you, is a little bit more translucent than some of the darker colours and the other, even though red is, you would think it's a darker colour and would cover well, but no matter what paint brand you use, sometimes those reds, because of the pigments, are a little bit more translucent. Look guys, I haven't even added, this has done two stencils so far, so this brush is holding that paint well. And I even, you know, dried off as much as I could and I'm not getting any bleeding underneath the stencil. Almost feel like I've just got to dab it in one more, one more, one more time. Someone just said they're so glad I'm demonstrating these wooden tags. Yeah, it is a great gift idea for decor as well as a gift tag for a bag. And there are so many. If you just type in the search bar of Essential Stencil Mini Tag, it will bring up all of the Mini Tag stencils. So those search bars make use, good use of those. <clears throat> You'll come up with a whole bunch of Mini Tags. There we go, Farm Sweet Farm. And there's our farm. And I just wanted to show you this one from the other set. So this one I'm going to be using, I'll make sure I've got my damp cloth so that that brush doesn't all dry out with the paint on it. And I'm going to use a little bit of white paint. And again, this is just an Australian brand of chalk paint. So it is a furniture paint. You could use an acrylic, any acrylic, acrylic based paints. And I only need the tiniest little bit because I'm only doing this one little um, <clears throat> mini tag. So the blue I've got there is like a navy navy blue. Not sure if you can see that well. But I love the white on the the white on the dark colours really is striking. So having two contrasting colours when you're stenciling is a great idea. So I'm just going to use now the mini brush which is the half, I'm guessing that's half inch. It says half. Which is probably, I don't know, the diameter or something. Okay. Ready for our farm. I've offloaded the brush, doing a little swirl and pounce, pounce and swirl. Sometimes white, you may need a couple of coats. I love this little wreath or laurel, whatever you would call that, on the outside of the, whoops, outside the cow here. Let me just offload that a bit more in the cow. If you've got bigger areas to stencil, larger space, then it's good to do your first dab on those. Oop, I think I could have had a bit too much on the brush then. Some edges, I'm a bit worried there's a bit too much paint there. Well, <clears throat> if so, you get to see my mistakes and that's always good for you because <laughs> you, you know that um, we all make mistakes and you're just learning. And what I tell everyone, if you've made a mistake, it's just paint, sand it off, start again. Yeah, a little bit of time wasted, but it's all good. Okay, let me see how it went. Oh, not too bad. No, we're all good. Just a little bit of white on the edge there because my brush went over, but I could just sand that little bit off and there's no problem at all right there. So see, we've got very crisp and clear lines because we offloaded the brush as much as we could in our little cow. And I think that's standing out enough and quite farmy, farmhousey to not have to do a second coat. And I love the way that these have turned out. They make great little gift tags, great little um, ideas for actual gifts for decor. So remember that this one also comes with this set and this, this one also comes with identical farm fresh eggs and farm fresh bacon that you can also use in that set here. So there is our stenciling for today. Now Essential Stencil is going to be picking winners any minute now so keep your eyes peeled and I'll do a little drum roll to see our winners pop up. Let me know if you see our winners and make sure you congratulate them and I'll see if I can see that in the live. But we've done our two We've demonstrated a bunch of things today. We've used our stencil brushes, our wooden tags, 
our wooden tag sets of stencils and we've done some tea towels using those kitchen signs with Bon Appetit. So if you've just joined us, here's what we've been doing. And the kitchen tea towel sign. So there's a bunch of fun things that we've been doing today. Oh, I see the winners. There we are. So our winners are Suzanne Howard, Donna Rutledge, Albright, and, ah, see it's just done it and missed the last person. Where are they? Judy Tilly Klein. So Suzanne, Donna and Judy. Let me just congratulate you. Thank you very much for playing along. Thank you for commenting and for your um, your viewing time, guys. I really appreciate you all being here. Don't forget to use my code, I Restore Stuff, to get 10% off on top of some of those summer sales that are happening right now at 25% off. So that's a great deal all around. And I really hope that you will take advantage of that right now and get start getting those Christmas gifts made already. I know, it's crazy, but this has been a crazy year and you wanna get ahead. So here's some great ideas for you. And until next week, I will see you. I'm Sharon from I Restore Stuff. Come and visit me on Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and my blog. I'd love to see you there. Catch you next week. Bye.